Hi everyone, welcome to recipe finder. Um, at first, if you read the readme instruction, it will tell you to run bundle install on your in your terminal. And this will download all of the native files and then you need to run migration. And the next thing you do is to run database it so that it will be able to um, have all the original file. Cool. Now as everything looks good. Uh, in order to run start a program, you will do the Ruby bin slash run .rb because that's where the file is. Now you have the welcome to recipe finder and the recipe finder application will be able to look up the main ingredients for your favorite recipe. Um, it can also offer all recipe that match with the available ingredients from your kitchen and creating an account with the username will be automatic when you serve some recipe. So, and yeah, um, you can also update the recipe names. That's it. So yeah, uh, you see the menu. You can click on the first option. You see all the available recipe here. And if you scroll down, you see like all of them where you can to see what you can make from yeah, all the ingredients, the main ingredients from the recipe. Um, if you choose get my recipe from ingredients, you will see all of the list of ingredients here. You can add more ingredients under the uh, save file. But the point is that if you choose maybe a list of ingredients that you want to uh, ask the application what, can, what dishes can you make with, you choose them and then you hit enter and they will show you all the available um, recipe that you can do. If as you want to set this recipe, if you say no, it will go back to the main menu. And if you click on, let me choose it again, and then this time say yes. Yes. Now, if you ask which recipes you want to serve, I probably want to serve fried chicken using spacebar, um, maybe baked garlic chicken, and maybe salmon. Enter. And then we ask for your name. You can use. Um, if you don't have an account, it's be fine. They save it to a new um, account. It will automatically create an account and save it. And then now, if you want to check your recipe, it will ask just your name. And then there you go, it's all of your save recipe. Um, if you want to update a recipe, for example, if you ask which one do you want to update? Let's say you want to update the like garlic chicken. And there's only one option now is to change the names. Maybe you want to change to like chicken. And then if you check again, if you ask for your username again, now you see that compared to the previous list, now it's changed to baked chicken. And if you want to delete some recipe, if I just choose this one and this one, fried chicken, let's just say too many. <laughs> this, the half? No, no. Okay. And now you can double check everything. Cool, now you only have fried chicken because you delete the, this too. Okay, so back to main menu, let's just say you wanna, um, it's not Kim that want to serve anymore, let's just say maybe, oh, I want to save recipe, yes. And let's just say you wanna save this one, yes. Enter your name, maybe you wanna serve any name. Oh, I need to remember the names to log in again. So properly, uh, how do I name this? Oh no, check my service over here. As you can see, that it just automatically served. Okay, cool. And that's it.